Newsy News. Newsy News. Newsy News. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, you beautiful YouTube Tarkovians. My name is One Peg, and this is another Escape from Tarkov news video. This time happens to do with this animation. <laughs> yeah, boy! Now, to some of you, this may not look like a whole heck of a lot, but trust me when I tell you it's more than what you think. What this is, is is a tweet that Nikita ended up sharing with the community this morning, maybe two, maybe three hours ago, that is displaying some animation changes. The long-awaited animation changes that Nikita had been promising us for who knows how long. I think over six months ago, he did a podcast saying that there was an advanced animation team that was working on improving the overall animations of the game, especially when it comes to first and especially, especially third-party character animations. So it might not look like much, but if you take a look at this, how his arms move and how closely jointed to the weaponry and when he's holding the gun and how his hands move and where they lock in, this is some really, really good rigging. As he's running, you can also see like how his shoulders sway. Even though his head is staying relatively fixed in place, it still has a little bit of bob. It looks very, very natural. But the thing that I love the most and the thing that is being shown here that we don't see in Tarkov right now is some physical motion motion with the backpack attached to his back because you can see the load shifting ever so slightly from left to right as his like hips and back make that whipping motion you can see like he he's moving his hips which follow are followed by his shoulders and his arms and his back sliding from low to high left to right right to left it's changing the loads swaying back and forth and the ak whipping from high to low and, and left to right at the same time looks very very fluid and very natural this is really the first time that we've seen like load swaying on anything in Tarkov. Right now, the backpacks are like in a fixed position. They lock on your back like a Lego brick and they have no motion. So we're actually starting to see some motion physics with the animations of third party stuff. It just adds another level of immersion and makes it look a little bit more realistic. And I'm really excited to see how they incorporate this with all of the other modeling that they have in the game. Hopefully, we'll also see some ladder movement and some mantling over, you know, shorter obstacles and stuff, because that is something that obviously Tarkov desperately, desperately needs. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Please give me a follow on my socials if you would be so kind at OnePegMG on Twitter. Please give me a follow on Twitch, twitch.tv slash OnePeg. Please give me a sub here if you're not already a sub. And if you want to come and say hi to me on Discord, it's discord.gg slash OnePeg. Thanks so much. Peace.